Alright, we are testing a Knit King 270 on a Brother 260. Same machine, the only difference is that this bed will not talk to the carriage. And so we're going through the functions of this after a restoration of a pretty dirty machine. Well, here we're knitting Fair Isle, so when he says not talk to, he means any electronic features like the row counter won't work. But in the case of the Brother design, the bed does what either the punch card or the electronic console tell it to do. So my punch card is telling the bed what to do. I've told the carriage what to do. Knit fair aisle. And it is. No problem. Yes. So just to show that it's working, we're back to stocking it, which is in the settings here and plain setting here. And I reduced the stitch size a little bit from two color knitting because that usually works better. And it's doing stocking it beautifully. Earlier I tested to make sure that if I put the hold button in H, it holds, no problem. I did a whole sock heel, but I'll just do a couple rows on camera. And then let it knit back and then hold. yeah that's something i always test on both sides and i have beautiful uh -huh. and now we'll let the card run again kc to memorize just to, as always and over here i'm going to select tuck going both ways and allow my card to advance and this is actually quite a pretty tuck pattern Though I'm not going to do enough of it for you to get full enjoyment of how pretty it is. This one ends up looking like an Aaron sweater. But you can tell the carriage is running smoothly. It is. I was actually surprised how well this one turned out. Because it had significant rust as well as dirt. But Jack's gotten it off as best he can and here we are back to work. Right, it required quite a bit of disassembly. I'm going to come over here and change the two part buttons. This is not an especially pretty slip pattern, but it will slip and it's a perfectly good test. Yeah, it's only a, a, not a desirable pattern to slip with that car. Yeah, it's just not good looking. It's, right. it's great looking for tuck. Yeah, the mystery oil is wonderful about inhibiting the oxidation and cleaning the metal, but it can't rebuild the metal where there's pits in it and when Catherine saw how pitted some of the pieces were she began to despair that it might not knit right i said are you sure jack and here you can definitely see it's slipping on command but as i told you this isn't something i do for decoration however the tuck stitch you can see diamonds forming and this area under my thumb when complete looks like a cable and this looks like space between cables so I enjoy that and here's how the fair aisle looks see what I mean this has real possibilities for an all-over pattern and there you go. testing punch lace just to make sure both of those center buttons behave themselves yeah, both of those center buttons, I had to take it completely apart to clean all the oxidation out because they were just way too sluggish and they're supposed to pop back and forth just with spring pressure. And again, this is not a card I would use in real life to create this pattern and I just ran the card out. But it did work, I believe. Yes, nice. It's actually not bad. I'm surprised. I would have normally used a planer card.